Hello friends and neighbors. It's only been a day. Uh, John, your whiskey neighbor here, but I wanted to talk about some Canadian whiskey because it is Grey Cup today. So uh, I went to the shelves and I found a good Canadian whiskey that I haven't talked to you about. I know it's the wrong sport, but today I'd like to talk to you about, this is one of the, uh, I think it's the third NHL alumni release from J.P. Weiser's. This one is Dave Keon, to honor the captain Dave Keon. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about this Canadian whiskey when we come back. Alright, thanks. Thanks for joining me. Um, I just shot my uh, my uh, thank you to all of you looking at Flame and Heart yesterday. Still struggling a little bit of cold, but I realized I'm going over to my mom's place to, to watch the Grey Cup, and I hadn't talked to you guys about uh, Canadian whiskey. And I definitely think that any good Canadian should have, of course, a wonderful uh, Canadian beer. We've got lots of good stuff out there, but you should be able to celebrate uh, whatever team you're cheering for with a little bit of whiskey. And I would say... Uh, and, uh, something from J.P. Weiser uh, and certainly something from the NHL release would be a solid choice. So this one here, uh, I apologize, I thought I'd quickly do it outside because there's some sun which is great but uh, I don't have any kind of mic setup so I'm just shouting at my phone. Um, this is Dave, Honor Dave Keon. So uh, it's a three grain Canadian whiskey. It's corn, rye, and I believe barley. Um, this one's older. This is their the part of their their current releases, which are older. So this one uh, actually is aged for 14 years through four barrels. Now, uh, what Dr. Don Livermore and his team often do is uh, they do um, Easter eggs. So they have little special things in their releases, and this one's just like that. So uh, it's released at 45 percent, and 45 percent um, honors, I guess, uh, Dave's. Uh, uh, Keon's first season was a 45 point season, so that's why it's 45%. Then uh, it's going to go through four barrels during its aging, and that's to honor the four cups that Keon uh, has, uh, his championship seasons. So it's aged in ex bourbon, in refill Canadian whiskey barrels, in uh, virgin oak, and in ex space side malt casks. So that's interesting. It's a three grain, four barrel, 14 year old release at 45% from JP Weiser. Let's see what the whiskey tastes like. Uh, you know, some of this is gonna be a bit from memory. Being outside, I always get like a, a little bit of a, almost a watery note to whiskey when, I, when there's quite a bit of wind and movement going on. But for me, the nose has a, a, a youthful spiciness. Not youthful alcohol, I mean there's a, a an interesting a spice and then a, a, a nice fruit note to it like a I don't know a, a pear or a very ripe golden apple yeah it's got a, it's got a nice fruit a little bit of spice and yeah and there's already wood or an oak note to it that comes up pretty good so ah, I like the nose the sweetness, it is a little on the edge of sweetness, right? When you get that, well, that's why I said very ripe pear or or that kind of golden delicious apple. There is a sweetness to the fruit. But thankfully, there's uh, some nice spice for it too. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Boy. I think there's quite a bit in this whiskey. I think uh, it's it's nice across the tongue, a little bit of oil, so it's coating well. Um, the flavors that you smell in the nose come out pretty quick. It's a little bit sweet. It's not, thankfully, way down that Canadian maple sugar sweetness that can happen in a lot of Canadian whiskeys. For me, actually, the, the sweetness is constrained. And very quickly, the, the fruit notes are older, dried, um, uh, have more depth to them and and then a spice note at the end of the palate if you've kept it in your mouth for a while or you know you swallow and right away the finish 
there's some of that spicy notes. I'm going to attribute to it to rye because it's a little bit peppery, not overly so. Um, yeah, and the finish just uh, for me really comes back to what I just hint in the nose. Some of that oak, um, it dries. It actually dries quite a bit in my mouth, kind of you know that dry tannin like. So, so gentle, light sweet, not heavy sweet, light sweet, bit of spice. Palette, some deeper fruits, uh, spice, oak again, and then finish in sort of a drying, lightly tannic, not bitter, but a little bit of that, what would be tannic. Yeah, it's not quite fruity enough to say red wine, but something drying and tannic uh, and oaky again. I actually think this is my favorite of the NHL releases. Now, I haven't had a lot of bottles brought home. I've tasted them uh, when I go to stores. Um, so I might not be the best comparison to say across all of them, but I would say this Dave Keon, a 14 year old Canadian whiskey with some really unique casking behind it. And I think I got it on sale for like $39. It's an absolute, sorry for that. It's an absolute steal at that price. This is easily a four star whiskey. Um, it even pushes really above four stars. It's a, it's, it's excellent. And, and for that price, uh, if you uh, have tried any of the NHL series, you kind of like them. Uh, if you're about to set up for the game, it's going to be in a couple of hours. And you're thinking, oh, i got to get a whiskey. And you see this on the shelf, I would not hesitate to buy it. I, I would say this is, um, this is going to appeal to many people. Now, if you're a very um, you know, sweet whiskey fan, because there's a lot of Canadian whiskeys that really have that maple sugar sweetness, you'll miss that in this. This is a little more drying, a little more tannic, a little more oaky. Um, yeah, the oak almost is a bourbon quality to it. Um, and the sweetness up front almost, almost gets to that orchard space side fruit. It's not quite, uh, interesting. This is a great bottle. Guys, thanks for tuning in again. I know I just shot one the other day, but I have to say, oh, it's Grey Cup. I got to put something out there that's Canadian. So you guys, I hope you uh, have made some time uh, to, to, to watch the Grey Cup and, uh, and have a great relaxing Sunday and a nice dram in your hand. Take care, neighbors. Thank you.